Okay, we're in game five, Rebel Round Robin three, week three. And uh, so we just came off the Barons last night on the hill, where Team Limp was narrowly defeated by Team Paris, although uh, it shouldn't have been so narrow, narrow had there not been a, a tragic uh, Thalander suicide in the center. Anyway, that's all behind us now, and we're on to uh, game five. So in this game, it's Kierkegaard, uh Again, sort of classic uh, Mithril Cup map. Uh, looks like Capture the Flag, which is a great game type for this. Obviously, you've got the big water uh, features in the center. River going through the mid. You're going to end up forward area in the center, the island in the north, and in the south, long forward in the south. So obviously, very difficult to fight through this water. Much easier to get through in the north. And then this is a difficult position in the mid to take and hold because there's lots of room to fight here. And you usually see um, soulless packs up on these impassable terrain on these hills um, and then kind of fighting back and forth these water areas. Uh, teams still trading. So Paris is still in, in command here with uh, Vazazel, Spoon, Thalander, Spy, Elfie, Adrenaline, who's joined up now, and Father Xmas. And Asmodian opposite, taking over for Limp with Kuniak, Walter White, Wolo, Gunther, LB is Limp, Empy, and Scratch. So again, so, uh, very sound, solid teams. Looks like Asmodian has finished trading and is handing out his units a little bit quicker. Uh, he's given, looks like, the old eight fetch. So four to Gunther, four to Kruniak. Those will be backed up by Herengard uh, healers there who will heal them up, keep them healed. And then they will also be, of course, defended by the Stygians who are invulnerable to arrow attacks or spear attacks, which is what these... Um, Solus will be doing. You got Limp with one of those Solus packs. Looks like Asmodian is holding the other Solus pack. You got Spider packs, of course, to counter those uh, Solus. Okay, Paris has finished trading. He's got quite a few, quite fewer Solus, which is interesting, and more uh, melee. And they've got these brigands here. I'm guessing to hold flag D. I think uh, Asmodian's going to try to use Thrall for that purpose. Doesn't look like Limp or uh, Paris got any Thrall. With the fetch, he's given. A broader split, two to Vazazel, two to Thalander, two to Spoon, and two to Adrenaline. Uh, which is interesting because, as we know, the split for Team Asmodian is just two people holding the fetch. So I think the advantage is going to be with Paris here because they're going to be able to, um, you know, utilize their player advantage. On the other hand, having those four split is slightly better for a defensive play, which might be what um, Team uh, Asmodian is playing at here. He, Asmodian says, I'm not sure how to split this. YOLO and MP protect Game souls. Sorry, on. not much to hand out, as is true, um, but he could have got a slightly different trade in that regard. It's an unusual trade uh, for Asmodian, I th think, given that he's going to have to be very aggressive somewhere to, you know, it's capture the flag after all, unless they want to go down to a tie. So he's going to be very aggressive somewhere, and he doesn't have a lot of percentages. Uh, to enable that. Now, on the other hand, Paris's weakness is that he doesn't have as many soulless or nearly as many spiders, I don't think. I mean, you notice he's given all the spiders to Alfie. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's about, it's about a, you know, 15 spiders or so. There's spiders, 14 Asmodian. Asmodian holding most of them. I know there are more than that. I just, they're difficult to see on this map. I think he's going on some kind of flank. I mean, this is a scout, scouting position here uh, from Asmodian. There go... Oh, here, here, okay, so there go YOLO with some spiders and Asmodian with the other spiders. Actually looks fairly similar in terms of the spider count. Okay, so as expected, you notice the Solus going up to the hills. The um, middle force now is going to line up, and then they will they will duel it out. This is myth, myth players love this stuff, right? Because they, they get to just sort of prove their skills with these little... Um, localized fights, which unfortunately are not terribly interesting because they are, the fetch in this case are so dominant on this map, especially with their ability to strike, their lightning strikes can redirect off water, that it's really just going to be down to the, especially for Asmodian's team, the only people who will really be getting involved here will be uh, Gunther and Kruniak. Um, Walter White with the Solus and Asmodian will try to help on the flanks, but they might not be able to, especially because they're, um, the fetch shots will block the Solus spears. Okay, so we see the initial uh, little bit of pressure here, won't last very long, and now th this is a decisive 
uh, movement here because uh, Kriniak is very far in advance and uh, he's a, at risk, especially now that he's in this water. This is great positioning for uh, Team Paris. They should be able to really strike this. Yep, and start getting some extended hits. There we go, we're seeing that now. Somebody, I think that's Val, uh, Basil needs to be blocked. He should be attacking these uh, Solus. He's just getting on that. This is Apollo oh, Xmas coming across with Spy. Uh, they're Solus. They are in great position here. This, yeah, this is bad news for uh, Team Asmodian, who's way, way behind already. Their momentum is totally out of control there. And Paris has snuck through a very critical uh, force with these spiders under Alfie and those healers who will go melt these thrall like butter. So this could, uh, you'll see um, Asmodian rushing back to try to hold that. So already Team Paris has taken a serious positioning and um, momentum advantage. Uh, holding that center island. They're being attacked on the flanks now, so they're going to have to develop... This is a big flank attack <laughs> by Lim uh, and Walter White, although they're going to take hits from these uh, fetch. Now, uh, this is Father Xmas coming down with his fetch. Uh, Solish good move to, to block that. The very good use of the Stygians by Paris to push back those Solus, and then Father Xmas will be able to block that. So now it is all on uh, the flanking force here. This is Alfie with this legendary flank. Uh, could win the game in the next few minutes if he can pull this off. There is, a, uh, as you can see, Kriniak and uh, Gunther are not going to fall back. Um, even though Limp is pushed, ordering them to push, uh, he's not the captain, of course, but he's suggesting they push. I think this is a mistake because he, all they're going to do is, it's local, they're going to fight the local mid-battle, but it's not going to matter because the defensive play is what's going to determine this. Alfie needs to really get this, he needs to go with these... Heron Healer should be moving. I can't believe he's not moving them. They can they could be winning the game right now. Father Xmas thinks he's in trouble uh, noticing the uh, large number of uh, Solus there, which is true, and the mid-push is happening, but this is going to cost. It's it, The attack is coordinated at all, but it's not being very well coordinated. And it looks like Kriniak and Gunther may just do this. You'll, there we go. Wow. And so it was a sneak, a sneak tag by YOLO able to win it right there that was incredible and i didn't even see that yolo flank with the spiders going in there uh but they were able to get in and take out it looks like maybe one stygian knight which was holding uh paris's flag and that's really too bad because as you can see uh the battle was happening here this is uh, alfie spiders who were about trying to tag this flag getting destroyed because they didn't have his heron healers who were not moving here and they needed to get in there if they'd been up there with the spiders there's a good chance they, they should be able to keep that contested and uh, possibly tag it. Now, they still would have, Paris' team still would have lost their home flag to uh, Yolo's hidden spider flank, but it would have been a flag trade, and then maybe the mid could have done something. But unfortunately, they were, as you can see, the horror on the faces of these fetch as they're being tagged out uh, by, again, a kind of an interesting, like, good offensive play um, in the last seconds there. Uh, turned out. Uh, Limp's call to attack in the mid was more strategic than I'd realized because it forced this mid force to pay attention there and not to be able to go back and do anything to defend uh, the flag. However, there was not enough defense on that flag. Uh, Paris needed one or two thrall there as well and didn't have it. Um, so that could, that game could have gone either way and it looked like Paris was going to win it, but uh, some delayed action and a good uh, hidden spider flank was able to win it. Uh, plus this um, mid-battle sort of taking up forces that they couldn't pull back and help either way. An interesting game.